I believe this is one of the best things I can show you folks how to do this semester as far as getting ready for calculus is how to remind you how to work with point slope form of an equation of a line. Um, it's very useful. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the, the, the two weeks, the equation of a line that is parallel to the line that goes through this this one through this line and and, and but pass through this point. So I mean I, maybe it's good to talk about this graphically, see what's happening. So I know I know that this line L, this original line L, I'm giving a little background here, folks, not not how to answer this question, but it's, you need it. So negative nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's the y-intercept for, for line L, and it has a slope of one. So I'm going up like this, and I could continue. Um, so here's this line here. It's supposed to be a nice line, and it's kind of wobbly, but you get the idea. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a line that goes through this point, negative 1, negative 6, which is right here. And let me go to red ink. And then parallel to this line. So that also means that it's going to go up, up, uh, up 8. So let's see, it's going to go up 6 and 2 more and over 1. So that's that's that line. Now we can see the y-intercept right there, right? I mean, that's not hard to do. So maybe writing it as point slope form won't be hard. Uh, if I counted right, let, let's, uh, this is slope intercept form. So if I counted right, I think it's 2, that's 0, 2. And I know the slope is exactly the same as 8. So this equation here, they're looking, my open math is looking for y equals um, 8x plus 2. Now, to get the point slope form of the line, you can pick any point on there, but, but since they already gave us, uh, they already gave us negative 1, negative 6, we can just do point slope form, and they gave you what point slope form is, so y minus a minus 6 equals the slope times x minus and minus 1 because the because the because the coordinates of the points are negative. So basically it's going to be y plus 6 equals 8 times x plus 1. And that's what this that's what this expression is going to be. Now why is that you ask and then why is that such an important thing? Why is that so cool? Because if I'm looking for the perpendicular line now, that goes through this point here, right? It's going to go through this point, but be perpendicular to this first line. If this slope is 8 over 1, lines that are perpendicular, you know, maybe or maybe not remember this, are the negative reciprocal. So you just take the slope, take the reciprocal, flip it, change the sign. So if I'm looking for the perpendicular line and I've got the point slope form, I just have to change that slope. It goes through that same point, that point negative 1, 6. So that's supposed to be a negative one eighth. So I'm done. That is going to be this answer, and that's the beauty of uh, point slope form. Okay, and then to find the, find find the y-intercept form, I mean maybe we could figure that out. I mean I don't know. Certainly I don't think my graph will do it. So the easy way to do that is here. Let me do some erasing. I think the easy way to do it. Well, there's a couple of easy ways to do it. Um, my, my ninth graders here at Oxbow would want me to do it this way. They say, hey, we know the slope. We don't know B. I know it passes through the point negative 1, negative 6. So negative 6 equals negative 1 over 8 times negative 1 plus B. Uh, so my negative 1 eighth times negative 1 is positive 1 eighth. Plus b. So to solve this, to solve this for b, ah, there's a couple of ways to do it. I could subtract one eighth, so six and one eighth, negative six and one eighth, because it's subtracting negative one eighth, right? So that's an answer. Um, uh, and my open math might be looking for an improper fraction. So in that case, they'd want to go. Uh, what is that? Forty-eight plus one is uh, forty-nine. So negative forty-nine over eight is what they'd want to have b as. So that's what you would uh, eight. That's what you would write right here. Now the other way to do it, um, well, in this form even, I mean maybe maybe fractions aren't your thing. 
So here I can multiply everything by 8. That would be negative 48 equals 1 plus 8B. So that would be, I'm going to subtract 1, negative 49 equals 8B. So divide by 8, divide by 8. So I'd get negative 49 over 8. I think that's what I had before. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So that's having to rewrite, take, take a write another equation and solve it. You can also, if you're not scared of a little algebra, since we've already got this right here, right? Let's let's just distribute the 1, 8 through. So we have y plus 6 equals negative 1, 8 x minus 1, 8. Now I'm going to multiply everything by 8 to clear it out of there. So 8y plus 48 equals negative 1x minus 1. And now you can just, uh, you can uh, subtract 48 from both sides. So you get y, 8y equals negative x minus 49. And you see how we're getting the same result. Divide by 8, divide by 8. So I don't know if that's any easier, but it's certainly one less thing to have to write. Okay, so... Uh, slope finish up form is easy because you get it, you know, if you're trying to solve what two lines intersect or graphing it. I mean, I would argue that that's not that easy to graph. But this is the beauty of point slope form, and that's what I wanted to, that you get out of this question.